Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So this week is going to be about educating you guys as to why the ball curves. So whether you slice the ball, you hook the ball, pull or push, I want you guys to understand why it's happening. I think this is very important for a lot of players to understand, especially if you're in the middle of trying to change how your ball curves. So if you slice the ball and you're trying to draw the ball, if you don't understand this, it's really difficult to know or understand what you're actually trying to do. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content. So before I begin making actual physical changes to a player's curvature or how they're curving the golf ball, I usually mention that there's two main factors that they have to think about at the start. The first would be their club path. So that would be the direction that they're swinging the club head into the ball or through the ball as well. So that's either an over the top or an out to in swing path or a more in to out swing path. And the second factor would be where they are pointing the actual club face itself at the moment of impact. So either open pointing to the right or closed pointing to the left. Now, most players believe that the swing path or the direction that they're swinging the actual club head will determine where the ball goes. So if you are a player that tends to slice the golf ball out to the right, then a lot of those players tell me that they try to actually aim more to the left and swing the club more degrees from out to in in an attempt to swing away from the right side to feel as though they can launch the ball or hit the ball more to the left. But these players just have the wrong understanding of what makes the ball curve. So to begin with, you're going to have to understand the function of the club face and the swing path and how they both relate. And to give you a better visual representation of this, I'm going to be using some alignment sticks on the ground. Okay, so I've got some alignment sticks on the ground and I've decided to show you guys kind of a point of view reference of this um, just because I haven't really seen it anywhere else on YouTube. So I think you know, a point of view reference may resonate with some of you better, but I, I've basically rearranged these alignment sticks to represent a player that would slice the golf ball typically. Just to go over what these alignment sticks represent really quickly. So this white stick will represent uh, where zero or straight, dead straight target line would be. The green stick would represent the direction at which you're delivering the club head, so like the swing path. Okay. And the orange stick is going to represent where you would be pointing the club face at the moment of impact. And the point at which these lines kind of intersect right here, um, that's just where the ball would be. Okay. So typically, you know, for a, for a player that would slice the golf ball, where, the, where they're swinging the club head would be in the direction of the green stick. So they're swinging the club like from outside of the ball and across it in the direction of the green stick. And where they would point the club face would be in the direction of the orange stick so that you, they have the club face open to their target and they're swinging it across the golf ball to the left in the direction of the green stick. So since we know now what the functions of the club face are and the club path, if the club face is pointed in the direction of that orange stick, that's where the ball is going to launch at the moment of impact. Okay, so the ball is gonna to launch to the right and since the direction that you're swinging the club is more to the left, then where you're pointing the club face, the ball is going to curve from left to right just because you're going to be imparting some left to right spin um, on that golf ball. So now I've rearranged the sticks to represent a player that draws the golf ball quite nicely. So when a player draws the golf ball or is able to do that, he's swinging it more on this arc or this in to out path, kind of in the direction of that green stick. And at the moment of impact, the club face will be pointed slightly more to the left relative to the direction that he swings it. So it's going to be, the club face will be a little bit more closed or pointed left relative to the direction he swings it, but it's still pointing to the right of the target line or where dead straight would be. So if the club face is still open or slightly to the right of the target line or where zero would be, the ball is still going to launch to the right of the target. But since the club face is pointing more to the left relative to the direction of, of, him, of his club head, it's going to impart right to left spin on the ball. So it's going to launch to the right and then draw back to the target. Now, if you are a player that pushes the ball straight out to the right, 
I eliminated that one stick just because if you do push it straight to the right, then that means that the direction that you're swinging it, okay, and where you point the club face are both matching and are pointed in the exact same direction, in the direction of the green stick. So if the club face is pointed down the green stick and the direction at which you're swinging it is also down the green stick, then the ball is going to go straight to the right. And if you are a golfer that pulls the golf ball to the left, then it's the reverse, right? So if you're pulling it straight to the left, then that would mean that your swing direction is pointed down the orange stick, but also your, where you point the club face is also in that same direction. So if the path of the club are, is down the orange stick and the club face is also pointed down that orange stick, it's just going to go straight to the left. So the last shot shape I want to explain to you guys um, is called a pull fade, or in other words, a ball that launches to the left of your target, but then curves back to the right towards the target. Okay, so when this happens, you're actually having the club face closed at impact in the direction of the orange stick. Um, that's why the ball launches to the left. Now, the reason why it, it like fades back to the right is because the direction at which you're swinging the club or delivering it is more to the left than where you're pointing the face. Okay, so this also shows you that just because your club face is closed doesn't necessarily mean it will eliminate um, the curve to your shot or make it curve the other way. It's all about where this club face is pointed relative to the direction. Okay, but for those of you who are wondering why um, you're seeing those pull fades, this is what's generally happening is you're having the club face closed, that's why the ball launches left, but your swing direction is more to the left than where you're pointing the face. So I also wanted to show you guys something very simple that you can set up on the range um, or in front of your hitting mat at home if you're, if you're hitting balls indoors. But um, this will just give you a visual as to the direct direction that you wanna swing the club head and where you wanna try to launch the ball or point the club face. So I just put that white stick um, directly in front of the golf ball down the target line or like where dead straight would be. And then I put another green stick, another stick kind of in the direction that I want to deliver the club head into the ball. So that would represent the swing path. So where you want to point the club face at the moment of in impact is anywhere in between those two lines. Okay. So if you're able to do that, then the ball should start to the right of the target and then draw back. So hopefully these visuals have given you a better understanding as to why you're curving it the way you are. I can also use the GC quad here to be a bit more precise as to how much uh, Intel path you need or how open or how closed your club face needs to be exactly in order for you to have a very perfect draw. Let me know if you guys want me to make this kind of video. And by understanding these ball flight rules, you'll have a better understanding of the physical changes that you're trying to make. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you are confused about anything that I talked about, you can leave a comment down below just so I can help to clarify things. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram if you want to inquire about my online lessons. I will also leave a link to my website in the description box below just so you can see all of the details. And if you still have some time, I would encourage you guys to watch this video next. And this goes over something that you can set up on the range or on the mat at home the next time you're hitting balls. And it can really enhance your understanding of swing path and ball position.